In this super exciting geometry problem, we got the square ABCD, and its side length is 9. And inside the square, we got the sand colored quarter circle, and this yellow semicircle, and finally this pink whole circle down here. And we actually want to find the area of this small pink circle. If you would like to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. Let's first write 9, the length of this side here, and here. Let this point O be the center of this yellow circle. Let's draw a radius for the yellow circle here, and let's name it capital R. Next, we draw a radius for the sand colored quarter circle here. And we know it's 9, because it coincides with the sides of the square. And this is also 9. And this distance is capital R, the radius of the yellow circle. So we can call the distance up here 9 minus capital R. And we got a right angle here, because it's the corner of the square. We now got a right triangle here, and we can add this, and this. And the hypotenuse of our right triangle turns out to be capital R plus 9. Now, according to the Pythagorean theorem, the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle, that are its shorter sides, is equal to the square of its hypotenuse, that is its long side. <clears throat> One of the legs is 9 minus capital R. Let's take the square of that. The other leg is 9. So let's take the square of that as well. The hypotenuse is capital R plus 9, and we take the square of that too. Next, we open up the brackets. This becomes 81 minus 18 capital R plus capital R squared, and 9 squared is 81. And on the other side of the equation, we got capital R squared plus 18 capital R plus 81. Let's cancel out the capital R squared on both sides. Let's also cancel out 81s on both sides. Next, we take this minus 18 capital R to the other side, and it becomes plus 18 capital R. And this side adds up to 36 capital R. <clears throat> so capital R is 81 over 36, which equals 9 over 4. Let's keep this important finding here. We will now zoom in to work on this yellow circle. Let's draw a radius here. We know it's 9 over 4. Let's draw another radius here. Now let's draw a radius for the pink circle here. We'll call it lowercase r and another here. We can project this r onto this side. And this distance over here becomes 9 over 4 minus r. And we will call this length a. Very good. We have created another right triangle to apply the Pythagorean theorem. This is one of the right triangle's legs. So let's take its square. Here is another leg. Let's take the square of that as well. And this is the hypotenuse. Let's take its square too. We do the math and it turns out a equals 3 times the square root of r. We can replace this a with that. This distance down here is also 3 times the square root of r. We can now zoom out to see the big picture. There we are. This pink circle's radius is r. Let's put another r here. Next, we draw a radius for the sand colored circle here. Let's draw another radius here, coinciding with the side of this square. And we know its side is 9, so this radius is also 9. And this radius is 9 too. Radii of tangent circles make a straight line. So this distance here is r plus 9. And let's take this r down here and project it onto this side. The distance above r becomes 9 minus r. And let's draw a line parallel to the lower side of the square. And let's call its length b. We get a right angle here. This purple triangle is a right triangle. So we can resort to the Pythagorean theorem once more. Here is leg 1. We take its square. Here is leg 2. We take its square 2. This is the hypotenuse. You guessed right. We'll take its square. Let's cut to the point. The equation leads us to the conclusion that b is 6 times the square root of r. Let's put that down here. And this distance will also be 6 times the square root of r. And we've also got 3 times the square root of r over here. These two distances must add up to the side of the square, which is 9. We can now write down this equation. It leads us to this, and this, and this. The pink circle's radius is 1. What a beautiful number. Now my son will help us find the pink circle's area. Go ahead, son. The area of a circle equals pi times r squared. And we know that r is 1. So the area is pi times 1 squared. And 1 squared is 1. So the area of the pink circle is just pi. Thanks a lot, son. Let's put pi into this pink circle here. A very beautiful answer, isn't it? We've found the area of the pink circle, people. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure you push the like button and please subscribe so that you do not miss our future videos. Have a good day and see you soon.